Hi everyone, Rory Neary from Data Spinners and those Dynamics guys. Today I am going to show you a little bit about the table function. It's actually much more useful than it sounds and all I'm going to do is just show you how to use it and how I found it useful. Here we go. So here we are, I'm in uh, an app and it's got a completely blank screen. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use a the table function to create a table and we're going to visualize that using the colors that come from that. It's probably going to be easier if I actually show you the uh, the data itself. So here we have in Notepad the table function uh, and what we can see here is that we can we can see that we have a table and it really is actually quite simple what's going on here. Um, so the table breaks down into sort of firstly saying, hi, I'm a table and there's a series of records inside the table and inside each record there is a field. So if you just imagine it as an Excel spreadsheet, this would be field, uh, the hex would be field one, R would be field two, G would be field three, B and so on and so on. So what we've got is a kind of four by four table um, with various colors in them. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to pick it up um, and I am going to create a gallery, uh, insert gallery, uh, and we are going to go, well, let's go with vertical because that's kind of nice and easy to understand. And we are going inside there, instead of having items, we're going to use this table thing. Um, so these are our items, and in fact, you can see them quite easily there. And I'm just going to get rid of, I'm going to move these across because they always fall apart. And I'm going to get rid of this, and it will also fall apart. So, uh, yeah, if I can just change the width and put it to 300, say, that will do. Um, so what we're doing is we're only, at the moment, if you actually look at the text on this, that we're only reading this item dot hex. Um, and we've obviously got more bits and pieces. Don't you just love this? Okay, cool. So we've got this item dot hex and we can uh, make the second item. Um, there would be this item dot R because it's RGBA is what I'm actually aiming for here. Um, and I'm just going to do... Um, so if you're not aware, a colour is made up of three, uh, four elements. It's uh, red, green, blue, and also the opacity. So that so says G. And I'm just going to complete this um, and just we'll fire it up in a sec. So here we go. We've got our table. So this is the hex version of the color and this is the RGBA version of the color. And of course, the next thing that really um, makes sense is to do insert a little label, uh, make it a square oops, and get rid of the text. And I can make the color. Uh, I don't think it got rid of it, which is a bit strange. Um, I think it might be on a go slow. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the fill um, and maybe I need to go to advanced. What's it doing? Yeah, we're back on here. So what we're going to do is on the fill, what we're going to do is we're going to do one version of it here, which is um, we'll do the hex here. So it'll be this item dot hex. I think the Internet is on a bit of a go slow. So this is quite entertaining. And I think I need to do a little bit more with this to kind of get it working. So just bear with. I've just remembered that actually it's color value. Um, this item dot hex. So you can see that well, actually it's not very many, but there's a different variation in, in color there. So I guess what we could theoretically do then is we could get the um, it's actually using the hex. So I'm not going to invent those. Um, but what you've what we're doing is we're using the table to kind of generate the color. Uh, and um, th there's obviously lots of different ways of doing this. So by contrast, you could have done um, it's slightly more complex, but you could have done the RGBA version of the same thing. So I'm going to do that. Um, 
So I've just created my little item. I'm going to uh, and I'm going to use the fo uh, formula. I'm going to go RGBA open brackets this item dot R comma this item dot um, G comma this item that wasn't a comma item dot B and then I'm just going to put a one for the for the A because it's just the intensity anyway. And I'm just going to change this bit here, and that then gives us the same thing, but it's done it in a very very different way. Um, where you know you can start playing with things and make it 0 0.5 and so on, and that's actually completely changed the color around. You can't do that to the same extent with um with the hex version of the colors. Now, so that's kind of that's um that's just a kind of noddy version the reason why i'm sort of showing you the value of this is that by contrast i could just as easily uh, i'm just going to show you a version of this which is um the excuse me so on here i've got um i've got an awful lot of colors here um and all i have to do is is in order to do this i just uh copy that get rid of it do control A, control V, and boom, I have got one heck of a lot of uh, colors. And I'll show you how that works. As you can actually see all of these colors that exist in with this, within this table because it's because it is a table. So hopefully you see there's some value to this. Now, if if you want to kind of take it a stage further, you can do something like uh, pop a button on and um and you could um you know make the color of the button different things but you could also um you could also do um uh, a collection um so you can do call um my table and you could insert into there the the table itself um in fact on select it would be be clear collect call my table and inside that you could put the actual enormous table that we've got now I've obviously made a mistake on that it's always fun to correct your mistakes isn't it and that's a really long version of it so hold on and in this case I'd um, I'd put the commas in the wrong place so it wasn't um, it wasn't going in so what we've got is um, the way in which the formula works is it's clear collect call my table comma and then you basically whack in your table in there and if obviously if you were to then hit the play button then you could then uh, create that collection which you could use later on and move on to the collections and you can go to call my table you can see that's nice and um, you could see the um, the three items that I put in there um, and the way in which I'm kind of playing around with this is to to have some kind of colors screen here if it actually moves on to it and these are the, all the colors that we looked in the big table are actually in here um, so it's quite I find it quite interesting I think you could use it for all sorts of different things particularly on an on start scenario you could have it in your on start and you could pop it in uh, into there which meant that you had like a data set could be drop downs whatever it is um, you could use it in different ways so there we are um, short vid on using tables um, so if you like this please subscribe please give it a thumbs up and hope to see you again soon